Uh-huh. Yeah, that's good. Check, check. Welcome back to my channel. It's Patrick Blackrock at P Money Patrick. And today I kind of want to bring, make an update out here in the beautiful island of Pignan, Malaysia. And talk about a few things and things that I've observed while living out here for the past three weeks now. And it's really a nice city to live in. I, I wouldn't say city, I would say island. Uh, the beaches kind of talk about cost of living, logistics, and my experience overall living out here. And for those of you who are dreaming and hoping for a better life, that you can have this lifestyle as well. You can definitely, this is the new dream. This is the new dream that I've talked about extensively on this channel for so long that you guys in the West still doing the things the old way. Need to realize that the game has changed. The rules of, uh, of the game have changed. You see, the game taught me about the game. And while teaching me about the game, the game did not spare the rod. While doing so, I paid the tuition. And I learned from my experience from being beaten black and blue in life that a man has to play his own game no longer no more explaining yourself to other people no more playing into other people's game but you have to be your own man and stand on your own two feet and make changes however you see fit all right so here living out here in Pignan, malaysia in terms of logistics all the western products that i'm that i've grown accustomed to since living in the United States from 2007, I can assess them here. Every single one of them, I can access them here. And in addition to that, for living in a condo, like a beachfront condo, like this one, you're looking around, spending on a monthly basis, 400 to 450 a month. And that is a very special, spacious beachfront condo. Unlike the shoe boxes that are prevalent in places like the Philippines and Thailand. Out here, the condos are very, very spacious. You can walk around and move around and have your own space. Sometimes the, sometimes you just want to have your, a little bit of space for yourself, and you can do that out here. But in the West, things are not getting better. Uh, right now, you have the, the, the same game. It's like right wing, left wing. It's the same old bird, man. It's the same old bird. Uh, and these people don't really give a shit about guys like us. They don't give a fuck about us. Especially men right now, straight men. They're these guys, they don't, they don't give a fuck about us. I mean, look at the fucking Olympics. And you think things are, the pendulum is going to swing the other way. It's not. It just keeps moving the, the more of the degeneracy. Because right now... We are uh, the age of trash, the age of garbage. Garbage is what moves. That's what gets the most attention. And if you could get attention and hold it, you get paid. It's been monetized. So I don't see any of that stuff changing anytime soon. People are gonna go for what grabs the most attention 
and in this day and age what grabs the most attention is garbage it's garbage straight out garbage no talent just a bunch of disgusting people because if the people that was on the olympics if they were like maybe let's take for instance the olympics of uh the last decade the one that was held in in sochi russia or even beijing china not too many people are going to talk about it but you get all this weird people those weirdos and you know desecrating insulting christianity by you know doing a reincarnate uh, just trying to recreate the last supper in a very disgusting way they know that's go what's going to grab the most attention and most people are going to talk about the most so that's what they're going to do and they're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing because christians uh maybe majority of people in the west that refer to themselves as christian most of them don't even go to the church they're just christian in name so they're not really going to fight hard to protect something that they kind of you know weakly identify with they don't strongly identify with, with it. you know it's like you know sh shimmy christians uh, as i call them but um i said man you gotta save your own self all these people are all looking out for themselves and you gotta look out for your own self and number one way of, uh, of finding yourself into the shithole is thinking that a lot of this stuff makes a difference in a major way that it's going to affect your life Trump or Harris well, these two candidates uh, you know it's not gonna whoever gets in office gets back in office it's gonna no, it's not gonna affect your life in a major way maybe you know a lot of things here and there and with Harris she's just a fucking lunatic uh, not that I'm I have much against her but I don't see her doing anything that will strengthen the United States economy and strengthen the United States standing in the wall that is going to strengthen our core values and it's just she's every last policy that she's proposing or that is proposed for her uh, she's just another fucking massive puppet man just another puppet nothing in there is gonna be beneficial to a guy like me i just i looked at the whole thing at least with trump with tax cuts uh, him being a real estate guy me a real estate guy there are things in there that i can use you know to continue climbing continue pulling myself up with Harris just gonna women this, women that, empower this, empower that. And at the end of the day, she's gonna, I don't mean, you know, it's just, it's just gonna be another continuation of the you know, Obama's administration and Biden. It's just another, the great reset, as they call it. They're trying to complete that great reset. You see, it didn't work with Biden because they didn't think Biden gonna, was gonna fall apart. The way he did i mean they were just they did everything they could possibly do to hold that man together he, he just fell apart so now they scrambling and they did the switch at the last minute these people play dirty man they this switch last minute the whole war chest of biden pushed it to harris and now she's raised additional 200 million dollars in was, has it even been a week so just let you know these people and I'm, I'm I'm reading from Wall Street Journal Financial Times like reputable uh, magazines and newspapers that she's eclipsing Trump's uh, numbers in swing states hey yeah man because uh, uh, guys just uh, be ready to be hearing more and more of like President Harris, just be ready for it. Because 
there's uh, a man by the name of uh, Nixman, Professor Nixman, I think that's his name. I forgot his name. But he, he, he's done this prediction since 1984 about the party to likely get elected and everything is kind of right now he says he's going to do his final prediction after the democratic national convention later this month in august that harris is likely to get elected and you know for you guys that are pushing for trump to get back in office he gets back in office i don't know he's going to pretty much from the second year going to become a lame dunk lame dunk president because he can't re run again unless there's something gets done about the constitution to remove the term limit he, he is, trump has hinted to that several times so who knows if that she's gonna happen or not but uh yeah i say all that to say that a man gotta make your own path for you most of you guys are stuck over there I was just like you stuck over there, confused as hell. These people have me convinced that they gave a fuck about me. Extracting my labor, extracting every, the best years of my life and just paying me barely enough to stay afloat. I had to strike out, I had to step out of, out of the boat so I could walk on water and we fate. I stayed afloat and God keeps lifting me up and up and up and this is the new dream is possible with the advance of technology with the advance of just free world of knowledge out there you with a little bit of hope and determination can actually pull yourself out of that and look out for your own self interest because even if you're making a tenth of what you're making with them it will be way much more cake for you more bread for you than the peanuts they're paying you you know i live out here i walk remotely not to brag but to inspire and anytime i want to go to the beach i go downstairs right there relax at the beach come back exercise get back to my walk walk when i want to when I'm feeling the, the, the juice is flowing. And when I'm not, I take a, a rest. I, I can sleep in the afternoon, I can sleep at night. Or I stay up at night, I stay up in the, like wherever I, I feel the juices, my creativity flowing, that I can make the most impact. That's what actual freedom is. That's the new dream that I kept the, from the very first day that I, I started this channel. I use the new dream as one of the elements to work as a framework for what I will build this channel for. And that's uh, every single video I've done is to showcase that this is the new dream. That old dream they're preaching is fucking dead, man. Social security, by the time the baby boomers are done with social security, ain't shit gonna be left in there. And for the guys that are in like uh, other Western countries, all that social safety net is going away because somehow, somehow, someone is going to have to pay for it. I got to suck in my stomach more. I used to have six pack. I only have one pack. I suck it in a little bit more when I'm doing these videos. So, but anywho, what do you think? Leave it in the comment section below everything is all good live your best life and live the new dream get out of that shithole those people don't care about you and the war right now that they pushing uh, i heard uh israel is just took out i mean israel they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing right now they're already in lebanon they're in syria uh it looks like world war three is about to break out don't let them sigh up you into going to fight those wars man Trust me, they ain't even gonna remember your name. Don't, don't do it. Let them send their robots. Let them send those uh, feminists that would rather be stuck in, uh, in the woods with a bear. Let them send them. Let them go over there with a fucking bear. Let them go over there and go fight that war. Look out for number one. Look out for yourself, man.
because that's the cool thing these days is uh, to elevate this you know this incompetent women at the expense of all these competent men that are giving the best I mean look at look at the nonsense even in law enforcement look at the nonsense Trump would have been taken out over this the, the incompetence of these people and they don't take any any responsibility and you know the DEI they just keep pushing and pushing for all this nonsense and don't let them grind you up like a horse meat and feed you to the dogs but uh that's all I gotta say for this video shit is real look out for yourself be money out if you like that video and you want to watch others like it click right here leave your new dream